Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, we continued training Slayer, we got to level 93, which unlocks Thermi, and we got and completed the first serve task on the account with no crystals. Now that we're 93 Slayer finally, here's the plan. First, we need to get an occult necklace from doing Slayer, and I'm not in a massive rush to get it though, like if I get a demonics task, I'll go for Zenites, if I get shamans, I'll go for the Warhammer, if I get Serb, I'll go for the crystals. Point being though is that I'm not gonna be like, mega skipping to try and get a thermi task. Once I get the occult necklace, I want to go back to Zora to get a massive stack of scales and just to test my luck with the other uniques. Spookdog is currently training crafting, so ideally by the time I'm ready to go back to Zora, I should have an anguish by then because we've had that extra zenite just sitting around for a while. After I'm satisfied with Zora, I'll take the anguish and my big stack of Zora scales over to shamans and then camp them off task for a while to try and get the Warhammer because at this point, I feel like the Warhammer is just the biggest bottleneck for so much content. So with that said, let's go ahead and we'll grab the first task of the video. But first, we have a word from today's sponsor. You need to get protection on the internet with NordVPN. Having a VPN is important because it lets you hide your data from third parties who might otherwise gain access to it, such as hackers or your ISP, which we all know is probably selling and profiting off your data right now. With NordVPN, it allows you to connect to over 5,200 servers in more than 60 countries. So with Nord, you can hide your location, they'll block dangerous websites, they'll prevent DDoS attacks when you're gaming, and you could also unlock content or websites that wouldn't normally be viewable in your country. It's important to have a VPN in public settings like a coffee shop or an airport, and Nord allows you to connect to their servers on your phone. You can have up to six connections at once, they have 24 seven customer support, and it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee so you can try it out and see if it's for you. Nord currently has a huge discount on their two year plan and they're giving you an extra month for free. So get protected today by going to nordvpn.com slash wildmudkip, which is linked below in the description. And thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's see what we're gonna get. Nice. Starting off the video strong with level 96 magic. By the way, just for reference, with my current quest done and block slots and unlocks, it's about a 4% chance to get a Thermi task. So we are going to Demonics. Let's hope for another Zenite. Uh, let's take a look at the collection log here. We've got two Zenites in 1300 KC and they're one out of 300. So the game owes me. So that's exactly how RNG works. And ever since Next came out, which was today, everything's just been so laggy. I'm in like one of the best ping worlds for me right now, which is like in the 20s. Okay, I know people say the game's always laggy, but it feels extra worse today, I should clarify. Oh my God, Rune Spare, you know how many Dragon Warhammers that could? There's level 75 mining. I came over to Motherload to AFK today because I still need to get the Cold Bag and Full Prospector. Unfortunately, it looks like this is the last birdhouse run I'll be able to do with the U-Logs. And after this, I'll have to go back to using the Maple logs from Kingdom. So I gotta get back to Zora as soon as possible so I can get more U logs for birdhouses. There's the last kill of the demonics task and no Zenite. But the KC is now up to 1445. Well there's level 86 attack. The bone crusher is almost out of charges and I haven't really been showing this but I've been trying to at least here and there to do my daily bucks of slime and bone meal because you get the 26 free per day with the hard diary. And I haven't collected for a long time so we're gonna collect all the ecto tokens and we've got 780 80, which is going to give 20,000 charges. And now we have a shaman's task, so good luck me. I just noticed I was about to get 100 million XP, so I came over here to chop trees for a bit, and there we go, 100 million total XP. I'm uh, 55 days into playing the account. We have our loot notification set to 100k for each of us in the group, so now like every time I get a drop that's worth 100k, I'm just like, uh, hello, where's my grats? Hello. <laughs> I just got a, a, an insane drop here, come on. Oh, well, there's another shaman task done, and I did stay after the task just to like use up my supplies, but no Warhammer, and the KC is up to 1500. This is actually really ironic. Like, I recorded the intro when I actually started the video, and I was like, yeah, I'll go for demonics if I get a demonics task, I'll go for shamans if I get a shaman task, I'll go for serve if I get a serve task. And that's not only the tasks that I got, but I got them in that order too, and that's just really weird. Anyways, we are going back to serve. Hopefully we can see a crystal. Oh my god, I somehow managed an eight kill trip without getting any supply drops you could see in the chat box. 
The only thing I'm doing differently now is that I'm not bringing the DDS as a spec weapon because I feel like having an extra prayer pod is a lot more likely to get me an extra kill per trip than having the DDS. But this trip was just like extra lucky. Oh, and I'm bringing six prayer pods per trip and then super potting at the bank, I put them back in and then I withdraw full inventory of crown ones. I probably should be using sharks, but I don't want to cook them until I stop failing them because I have a bunch of grapes from Zora. And I'll be getting even more grapes once I go back to Zora that I could train cooking up or spook and train cooking. And that way we won't burn as many sharks. And pretty much all these raw sharks are from Kraken. This right here, this is going to be the elite casket. I went through so much for this elite clue from Serb. Um, I also reached 200 KC by the way, but let's get on with it, see what we get. Well, it's, it's a couple of new collection lock slots. As a side note, those uh, Dragonstone rings that you get from Kraken, don't alk those. Save those for that elite clue step where you have to enchant a Dragonstone item. Same thing with those Abyssal heads too. Um, I mean, I unfortunately used up all of mine, but I mean, if you're an Iron Man, of course. If you're a regular accountant, on this applies to you. For some reason, somehow, I lost my sled. I don't know what happened to it, so I guess I'm going to have to make another one. But that's okay because I will only have to make one and then never again on the UYM. I made this thing so many times. It's not like a big deal. It takes an extra like five minutes or something. By the way, you cannot use the sled that's by Goblin Village from the 2020 Christmas event. I showed myself trying it on the UIM when it first came out and it did not work. And it also says in the wiki that doesn't work. So have to make my own sled from scratch. Oh, the freedom of not playing a UIM or a hardcore Iron Man. I don't even know the last time I came here. It was probably, can those things hurt you? They probably can. They probably do a bit of damage. Um, the last time I came here, I was like, I don't even know, dude. <laughs> when did I play my main last? Whenever there's an area where you can actually see the edge of the map, it always makes me feel like they're gonna expand it someday because it's just so odd to see that. Once we dig, there is the casket. Now we have to grab our chips and dip. I wanna get hit by one of those fireballs though. I wanna see what happens. Okay, this is taking too long. They just like go to random spots. All right, here we go, elite casket. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, Ranger's Tunic. I don't know if that's uh, particularly practical for anything, but that looks so sick, dude. We got two, I guess I was gonna say two uniques. We got three uniques because we haven't gotten that scroll before, but whoa, spooky even online. I got a drop and you didn't grats me on that. Grats. Oh, I didn't see grass. Actually toxic. Some people, man, I tell you. All right, let's get back to Serb. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Whenever I get drops like that, I don't spoil it for the GC. I just send them a screenshot with uh, the things just blacked out. I'm just like... Can't spoil it bro, sorry. That is 250 KC. I am now a Cerberus Master. And actually, if I can pull this up here, uh, this was the last combat task for Cerb as well. So we're all done here. Well, with the combat tasks. Well, Spook just got 88 crafting, which means she can make the anguish. So I'm gonna put both of these into the group storage and We'll see uh, an anguish or uh, a Zenite necklace because I got enchanted back in here in a bit. Okay, never mind. Actually, I have to fuse them because Spook never finished Monkey Madness 2, which you need to actually fuse these together. Because at the time when we did the quest, her stats were so low or her combat stats were so low, she wasn't able to finish the final boss fight. So I'm going to fuse these together and then hand this off to her. Okay, let's open up the group storage and there it is, the Zenite necklace. Let's uh, get naked here, and we are going to go and enchant it. Here we go, Necklace of Anguish. Probably the biggest DPS upgrade that you can make from any of the Zenites in terms of their respective attack styles. 15 range accuracy, two prayer, and five range strength. That's gonna be so nice for shamans and Zora. Oh my God, dude, the... <laughs> Dude, the first freaking crystal that we get is a prim. Oh my, okay, let's finish up this trip and then we'll make it. Oh my freaking God. Oh dude, I can't believe we got that. It took about double the drop rate for any crystal to see our first one, but it was definitely worth it. So we can upgrade the dragon boots. Uh, we are gonna have to dismantle the order make it from there. So maybe I'll give that to Spook or something, but with 60 runecraft, which I have, we can combine these together into the prims. 
put those bad boys on. Oh my god, dude, this is so freaking sick. I wonder if any other duo group Iron Man have this. Because you can boost to be able to kill Serb. You can boost your Slayer level with the Wild Pies. But yeah, I don't know. This is still really cool. Uh, it is January 7th at pretty much midnight right now. This is actually really weird timing because almost the same minute, maybe like a minute after I got the prim drop, Zach posted this, if you guys remember my buddy Zach. He posted this picture in the group chat. He got a Hydra Claw on his Iron Man. I have a theory that the game just poops out these like super rare desired drops all at the same time for everyone who's online at the exact same moment. Because if that's not the case, then this shit is simulation for real. Bro, that is so far from max strength. Get a freaking grip my guy. Obviously needs the obby plate legs. At this point my next choice of crystal if I could pick any would probably be the eternal crystal because I mean for pegasians we don't even have ranger boots and then like infernal axe isn't even a big deal to me at least um, but like eternals could be useful for Zora because I'll be using mystic boots anyways which I should probably actually get infinity boots before going back to Zora but it'd be nice just to have eternals instead of mystic or infinity. I'm going to be wearing those boots anyways may as well right? The arc light is almost out of charges we have less than 1k left so how many ancient shards do we have? That's a lot from Slayer although you do go through them faster than you think you would I feel like so we're going to charge that up to just over 9,000. Because if I charge it up anymore, I'm gonna like lose those extra 385 charges since the cap is 10K. But as you can see, three shards equals 1K charges. Well, looks like I have to go catch a black salamander. While we're here, may as well catch two, one for spook as well. Plus she doesn't have the hunter level to catch them anyways. Oh, that was a hard willy task. I knew that. Ah uh, yes, and can't forget of course. See you later, dragon boots. Yes, we got the casket. Oh, a master. Probably won't be able to get it done though, of course. While I'm here at the rogue's castle for this hard clue I've had in the bank for a while, I remember there was an elite willy task uh, at this chest here in the rogue's castle, so just doing that now. I came over here to fish some karambons for a little bit, and there is level 78 fishing. And there's the end of the serve task. I would say it was pretty successful considering we got the frickin' prim. And uh, I just also want to mention that by replacing the DDS with a prayer pot, that moved my average KC per trip from 5 to 6 now. Ooh, hey, that's a uh, 94 Slayer. Wow. Oh, a Death Talisman. That'll be perfect for Morning's End. We actually do need a Death Tiara for, um, I think it's a Master Clue Step at the Death Altar. So we have two Death Talismans now, so I guess we could each have one for that Clue Step. Level 87 attack. If you remember, was it last video or two videos ago, uh, when I was training prayer, I had all those baby dragon bones. This is exactly the reason why from these black dragon tasks. Yes, we got the thermi task. I'm so excited, except it's dinner time right now, so I have to find something to AFK in the meantime, but I'm so glad that we got that. Okay, so for dinner today, Kara is making this stir fry thing over here, and in the meantime, I'm roasting these chickpeas. Boy, get your garbanzo bean looking at We have some habaneros here, and we've never tried habanero peppers. These are a lot spicier than just jalapenos. Like, these are really, really spicy. You can, like, look up the Scoville units if you want. We have four of them here, and we're gonna, we're gonna roast two of them, and then just eat the other two raw. I mean, well, we'll eat them raw and see if we like it, and then once they're roasted, we might not want to eat them, but we'll see what happens. Oh, you're so tough. <laughs> so we have these two habaneros. Uh, you probably want this one, I'm guessing, because it's smaller and it looks nice and bright orange. We have to like eat the whole thing though. No. Yeah. You have the smaller one, so. No, that's like a big bite. It'll be fun. Why? Because we're all in this together, like High School Musical. Okay, we'll eat half of it then. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay, three, two, one, go. So far, it's not bad. I'm probably gonna eat those words in a minute though. Normally, you'd wanna have like, <coughs> like milk or, <coughs> you'd wanna have like milk or bread, because it breaks. <sighs> 
I have like, like mucus oh, no. in my mouth. Do you, you, need, a, do you need a tissue? <sighs> Milk or bread is good because it helps break down the capsicum. <laughs> but we don't have any, any right here. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> okay, it's not unbearable anymore. It's just very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're you're doing fine, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish more than it eat the seeds. Yeah, I guess the seeds were kind of like closer to the stem. Oh yeah, I was saying you want to have like milk or bread or something. Because if you drink water, I don't know the exact science behind it, but it like spreads it around. Okay, I need to... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna chill and get some food and get back to playing RuneScape. It really wasn't that bad. I mean, it was like five minutes of being uncomfortable, probably less than five minutes even. And it did taste good. I mean, it was spicy and that kind of hurt a bit, but the flavor was actually good. And even now I can like still very much taste the aftertaste and it does taste really good. It's just gonna be so cringe to like edit that and watch it back. Cause I swear there's just like a whole minute of me trying to talk and the mucus is just like coming down from my nose. And I just end up being like, g -g 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 <laughs> trying to talk. Uh, I probably should just not even put it in the video, but it's it's content. Hope you guys enjoyed that. This guy was like, yo, it's been a while since the last video. And I was like, it's just been one day. And he was like, oh, I was thinking of uh, someone else. It was devious. He's the one lagging behind. And I think the reason why he got me confused is because I wasn't wearing my fire cape. Um, because Devious obviously doesn't have and probably never will get a fire cape on the group hardcore. So that, that's understandably where the confusion was. I should have worn my fire cape and that way no one would ever get me confused with him then. I mean, you can even tell by this man's thumbnails that he just loves his Steven cape. It looks like he got it here in episode 14. And ever since then, he's just been he's just been flexing it in the thumbnails. He's been uh, slaying with it, apparently. It is a very handsome cape, I must admit. This man did nothing to me. Why am I trying to roast him so hard, bro? Just like those chickpeas. So we are all ready to go for Thermi. The main drop that we're after is the Occult Necklace, which is one out of 350 from the boss, Thermi. But you can also get them from regular Smoke Devils as a one out of 512 drop. And because you can burst them or barrage them, Arguably, it would probably be faster overall to get them from Smoke Devils, but because of the fact that like RNG is a really big factor when it comes into just getting the Thermi task, it might end up being less time. Plus, these guys don't drop a pet, so obviously I gotta do the boss. I'm gonna be using Slaughter Bracelets instead of Bee Gloves because, of course, until I get the first Occult Necklace, I'm gonna want these tasks to last as long as possible, kind of like me. You like how these Super Pots just randomly appeared in my inventory like a soup guide? Thermi uses a typeless attack style, so none of these overheads would help, although it is magic based so the higher your magic level the less damage you would take or the more defense you would have so you could use like mystic might or augury or use the imbued heart to boost up your magic level but i just have my quick pro set to just using piety you can also bring barrow's gloves and then just switch the slaughter bracelet on the last hit if you want it to have like a chance of procking but that's way too much effort i really don't care for uh, then we want the recoils on the ring of suffering on because it's going to do a lot of damage because thermi attacks really fast i'll just show you like how it's going to go we're going to hit it and then ideally we want to trade one-to-one -one hits because if I'm just standing here, Thermi is doing way more hits to me than I'm doing to Thermi. So you want to like hit, go under, hit, go under. I, I'm not <laughs> really doing it right right now, but you get the idea. Ideally it'd be one-to-one. -one. I'm really bad at talking while I'm playing the game, but you can see I'm trading one-to-one -one hits right here. And there we go. KC number two, because we did the one for the dire task. No occult necklace. 
If I had the highest tier pool in the POH, I would do the POH method where I teleport home, restore spec and health and prayer and everything, and then come back and spec him down really fast and then teleport home again and repeat. But unfortunately, I don't have the highest tier pool in the POH, so it feels like I'd just be wasting a bunch of food or wasting time going to Ferox to restore my health. So I'll just be staying here eating food and using prayer pot. And speaking of prayer pot, but the, how did I end up with so many prayer pots in my inventory? I probably only need like two per trip for camping piety, and I could probably just pre-pot the super pots at the bank as well. I'm going to move the POH back to Hosidius because we really need to get Spook's herb or level up so I should start doing my farm runs and we got the farm patch right outside the POH so yeah. Any buckets? Oh yes! Yes! Oh that's so good! Oh my god, 14k seed bottomless bucket. That's a 1 out of 35 drop, I can't believe it. The reason why the bucket is so good is because whatever compost you put in there, and you can only have one type of compost in there at a time, it doubles the amount of compost you put in. So if I put in 100 ultra compost, I would get 200 ultra compost charges. It's also nice for collecting compost because you could just fill it all into that one bucket. You don't have to bring like half an inventory of buckets. And then same thing for doing farm runs. You don't have to run back and forth to the tool ever kind grab adding your ultra compost. It's just all in one. However, when the bucket has any compost in there, you can't trade it, so we won't be able to trade it back and forth. It would have to have no charges in there, and the only way to do that would either be to use up all the compost charges or to empty it, which just deletes all the compost you put in there. But I'm giving it to Spook because she's doing like farm runs and herb lore and agility or some combination of something like that. Uh, and while I'm doing Slayer, I get kind of distracted and I sometimes forget to do farm runs. So I think she'll be making better use of it than I would at this point. Also just notice, this is one of those drops that doesn't appear like for the group or the clan chat or anything like that. Um, kind of like with Barrows, I guess it's because it doesn't count as a drop. Same thing with Barrows, it's not a drop because you're just opening a chest or in this case you're like digging it up. So it's kind of weird, it's just one of those items. There's 50kc at Thermi, I will now be ranked on the high scores upon logout. There's no official Group Iron Man bossing high scores because Group Iron accounts just show up with all the regular accounts, but we can use Temple OSRS to see that for all the duo teams, out of all the individual players, there's only me and one other that have access to Thermi. You can't boost Slayer to kill Thermi because you have to be on task and you cannot boost to get a task. So only two of us have access to Thermi. If you go over to the group and then click on their name and then go down to their bossing ranks, there's no Thermi on here, although there is Serb, but... Yeah, I'm the first duo group Iron Man, at least to be ranked for Thermi. They could have KC, but if anything, they probably just have the one KC for the diary. Anyways, that's enough of the weird flexes. Back to RuneScape. Yes, the occult necklace, 61 KC. Oh my god, so lucky, dude. Okay, well, we're freaking done here. I was just in the GC with the boys, so let me just say goodbye. Oh, I have to go. Sorry, I just, I just got a super rare drop I can't spoil, so I'm um, gonna have to... Hey, I <laughs> spoiled my claws in my third age, bro. Whoa, whoa, well, you're spoiling again, bro. Like, yeah, are you recording, bro? No, are you what recording do you mean? this exact No, I'm, 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 I'm trying, trying to end my video. Spoil, Can you put me in a video, please? Are you recording? No, if, if yeah, I, bro, this is on, group bro. Iron Man. It's only me and Spook Dog allowed to be in here, not my raid buddies, so. Well, there we go, 61 KC. What a way to wrap things up. So we now have the occult necklace and the anguish. And at this point, I'm excited to go back to Zora in the next video. I'll put the stats of the occult necklace up on screen, but uh, you can see 12 accuracy, 2 prayer, and then the main thing is that 10% increased magic damage. That is huge. Like just for reference, each piece of ancestral gives you a 2% magic damage bonus. Um, the Torm gives 5%, so just getting a 10% from a necklace slot for the damage is insane. You can check out my Duo Teammate Spook Dogs channel, which is linked in every video description. With that said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.